A good friend of Alex Sullivan, Christina Blatch is another of a victim of this shooting massacre in Aurora, Colorado. She was with Alex at this theater at midnight, and she survived. And earlier we talked as she recovered in her hospital bed. Here's what she had to say. A couple of hours ago, a day or so ago, you were normal life, manager at a restaurant, mm -hmm. and then this. Yeah. <laughs> you can't ever expect it. You know, you're always that person that says, oh, that would never happen to me. Mm -hmm. And then when it's going on, I actually didn't even know what was going on for like the first three minutes that it happened. I thought it was kind of like movie theater antics. You know, when there's mo midnight movie premieres, they kind of sometimes put on shows or, you know, like have people dress up in costumes and come around and whatnot. I honestly thought that might be what was going on because it was in the middle of a movie scene uh, where they're fighting. And then, and then when the, the thing that was thrown, and kind of like you could literally count to five, and then this like bomb went off. And that was like two, two things in front of me, like two rows. And then all of a sudden you just hear pop, 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 just gunfire. And then that's when it hit me, oh my God, this is actually happening. I should get to the floor. And so that's when I went to go get to the floor, and that's when I was shot. So people were like, oh my God, I've been hit, and then they started to run and duck. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, get out of the theater, get out of the theater. And then there's certain people like trampling over other people that had fallen down. Whether they were hit or not, I don't know, but like people were falling over each other. And next thing you know, you, you're just hearing everybody, oh my God, help me, oh my God, help me. There was, I mean, blood everywhere. You could see it. You just turn your head and kind of look around. There was blood everywhere. So it, it, it kind of clicks once you see, you know, that much blood and people not moving. And then my friend that was sitting next to me was his, his face down next to me, blood coming out of his head. Kind of, I didn't get an update till this morning about where, what had actually happened, if he made it or not. Your friend, Alex? Alex Sullivan, yeah. What'd you learn this morning? Uh, I learned that he, d he died. Hard to fathom. Well, he's the whole reason we all went. So, just sucks, you know. I don't want to say, pe pe no, nobody deserves something like this. Crispy, as they call you. <laughs> I mean, you were in a war zone, like you were in Baghdad. Mm -hmm. Why is this worse than being in a war zone? I, they just weren't, uh, nobody saw this coming. You know what I mean? Nobody that was there saw it coming. Nobody was prepared for it. You know, if you're going over to a war zone, you know there's the potential you're going to be shot at. Potential that mortars are going to come over the wall. Um, potentials that somebody's going to throw a grenade at you. Whereas you're sitting in a movie theater trying to watch a movie with your friends. Who expects to be shot in a movie theater? None of us did. Can you forgive him? Mr. The gunman? Can I forgive him? Probably not today, not tomorrow. Eventually. I'm a pretty, I guess, laid back and kind of outgoing person. You know, I like to move on. I don't like to keep dwelling on the past. So eventually, yeah, I'd be able to forgive him. Just not right now. He killed somebody I cared about and he injured a heck of a lot of my friends. So for right now, no. Mm. Down the road, yeah.